Welcome to the world of capes, flying mishaps, and a hero with a peculiar set of superpowers. The Greatest American Hero, a television series from 1981, is a nostalgic journey into the realm of unconventional superheroes. Before we delve into the series itself, have you ever wondered about the lesser known facts or anecdotes that add an extra layer of fascination to this classic show? What about the diverse roles portrayed by the characters Do you have a favorite among them? Now, let's peel back the layers of time and uncover some intriguing tidbits about the greatest American hero. Created by Stephen J. Cannell, the series follows the misadventures of high school teacher Ralph Hinckley, who receives a super-powered suit from extraterrestrial beings but loses the instruction manual. The result, hilarity ensues as Ralph navigates his newfound abilities with less than perfect control. Interestingly, did you know that the show's original title was The Greatest American Heroine, reflecting the producer's initial intent to cast a female lead? As we reminisce about this cult classic, I'm curious, do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to The Greatest American Hero that stands out in your mind? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a trip down memory lane with the greatest American hero, where unconventional heroes and unexpected challenges await. Share your tales, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this beloved series. In the early days of the TV series, there was a notable change in Ralph's last name. Going from Hinckley to Hanley in response to its negative association with John Hinckley Jr. this alteration was later reversed in the second season due to a decline in public concern. Interestingly, an unaired pilot in 1986, titled The Greatest American Heroine, showcased a scene where Ralph Hinckley meets the President of the United States. Jumping ahead a few decades, the show's enduring impact became evident when Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory sported a Greatest American Hero t-shirt among his extensive collection of superhero shirts. This gesture, occurring long after the series concluded, served as a testament to the lasting influence of the 1981 TV series. Additionally, a spin-off attempt titled The Greatest American Heroine faced an unfortunate fate. Produced in 1983 but left unaired until 1986, it found its place as the concluding episode in syndication, marking the end of the road for the attempted expansion of the series. In summary, the greatest American hero underwent changes in more than just its characters' names. From the alteration of Ralph's surname to the enduring presence in pop culture and the less successful spin-off attempt, the show's journey extended beyond its initial run, leaving a mark that persisted through the years. Connie Selica's impactful performance as Pam in the pilot episode of The Greatest American Hero was initially intended to be a one-time appearance. However, her portrayal left such an impression on the producers that they decided to make her a regular on the series. This marked a significant shift from the original plan of having Ralph, the protagonist, with a different girlfriend in each episode as a recurring gag. Selica's inclusion as a regular character added depth to the show and altered its dynamic. Fast forward two years after the series' cancellation by ABC, NBC took a chance on the greatest American hero by picking up its reruns. Airing them in a Sunday night, post-primetime time slot sparked speculation about NBC possibly reviving the series. Unfortunately, these efforts culminated in the production of The Greatest American Heroine Pilot, a spin-off attempt that didn't see the success its predecessor did. The show's influence even extended to the realm of parody, as evidenced by its appearance in an episode of Robot Chicken titled Yancey the Yo-Yo Boy. This further attests to the lasting impact and recognition the greatest American hero received in pop culture. In summary, from unexpected character developments to attempts at revival, and even a parody on Robot Chicken, the greatest American hero's legacy reaches beyond its initial run, leaving a lasting mark in television history. In a legal twist reminiscent of superhero drama, DC Comics attempted to sue the producers of this iconic TV series, claiming it copied Superman. However, the show's premise aligns more with another DC Comics character, Green Lantern. Much like Green Lantern receiving a power ring from an alien to become a superhero, the greatest American hero unfolds with a unique twist on the superhero narrative. While the legal battles unfolded stateside, across the pond, the series faced a different challenge. It couldn't grace UK screens until 1985 to 1986 due to a peculiar UK cinema release of the pilot film around 1982 to 1983. 
This delay resulted from the TV holdback rule, stalling the series, including the pilot, from UK audiences for a prolonged four-year span. Adding a touch of familial connection to the series, William Catt's real-life mother, Barbara Hale, made a notable appearance as Ralph's mother, Paula Hinckley, in the second season episode, Who's Woo in America? This casting choice added a layer of authenticity to the show, blending the boundaries between real and real family ties. In the world of the greatest American hero, legal battles, international delays, and family connections shaped the narrative beyond the superhero realm. From DC Comics disputes to delayed UK debuts and familial cameos, the series proved to be a unique journey in television history. Unveiling behind-the-scenes dynamics of a TV classic, the camaraderie between William Catt and Robert Culp, central to the greatest American hero, had a rocky start. Initially struggling to gel, their on-screen tension mirrored real-life challenges. Surprisingly, this friction became an asset adding authenticity to their characters. Over time, Cat and Culp not only reconciled but evolved into genuine friends, reshaping the show's dynamic. Amidst the show's success, ABC's abrupt cancellation decision threw a curveball. Four completed episodes, dubbed The Lost Episodes, never saw their intended broadcast. Instead, they found a second life in syndication and later DVD collections, becoming a hidden gem for fans. The unexpected twist in the network's decision added an intriguing layer to the series' legacy. Another subtle shift within the narrative involved Ralph's son, Kevin. Initially present but gradually phased out, his diminishing role reflected the show's evolving focus. As the series progressed, Kevin's character faded into the background, a silent yet significant transformation in the storyline. These backstage revelations offer a unique glimpse into the making of the greatest American hero. From the initial tensions between lead actors to the unanticipated cancellation decisions and the quiet evolution of character dynamics, the series' journey extends far beyond its on-screen adventures. As we bid adieu to the cosmic escapades and bumbling heroics woven into the fabric of the greatest American hero, take a moment to let the nostalgia settle. What resonates in your memory? Perhaps it's the quirky blend of comedy and heroism, or the iconic red suit that defined an era. This timeless series isn't just a bygone relic, it's a mirror reflecting the quirks and courage within us all. Now, let's embark on a mental journey of flight, if you will. Recall the first time you witnessed Ralph Hinckley grappling with his newfound super suit. Did it spark a sense of wonder, or maybe a pang of empathy for a hero in training? Share those treasured moments, those laughter-laden evenings, or the unexpected life lessons woven into the episodes. Your connection to the greatest American hero is a thread in the vast tapestry of television history. So, whether you're an old-school fan who tuned in faithfully or a newcomer discovering the magic for the first time, your reflections add depth to this enduring narrative. As we close this chapter, consider this an invitation to share your thoughts, anecdotes, or the quirky mishaps that made the greatest American hero a part of your story. Let your voice join the chorus of those who found inspiration in the ordinary becoming extraordinary. Thank you for taking this nostalgic stroll down memory lane with us. Your tales make this journey richer, and your connection to the greatest American hero adds another layer to its enduring legacy. Until the next adventure.